Well, so today I'm going to chat with you guys as I'm coming home from getting my flu shot. Uh, tip, if you have to pay for your flu shot out of pocket and then like your insurance doesn't cover it or you don't have insurance, if you have a Costco in your area and you have a membership, the flu shots are only 20 bucks. So, there's that. Anyways, on to what I was actually going to talk about, which is the Jewish 24 hour readathon is coming up this Saturday. I live in the U.S. and I live in the central time zone, and so it's going to start at 7 a.m., but I will provide the link to the Dewey 24 hour website in general if you're going to follow along or if you want more information, and also the link to where you can find out what time the readathon starts in your particular time zone because everybody starts at the same time and ends at the same time. Okay, so anyways, this readathon is very low key. There's no reading challenges. I'm not going to say there's not challenges at all because each hour there's a different challenge you can do to try to win prizes, but you don't have to do them. And so if you're doing other readathons, like I know Spookathon's going on right now, and um, Mercedes is doing her autumn um, readathon, and then like I think the whole month is like Spooktober for some people. So it's very easy if you wanted to kind of get caught up with all those and use the Dewey's 24 hour readathon as a way to do that because there is no challenges, so you can do it. But my favorite part of the Dewey's 24 hour readathon is the community aspect, which is the whole reason why I love Booktubeathon. And there's always somebody on Twitter, there's always somebody on Instagram, they always use the hashtag, which I think is hashtag just readathon, um, or hashtag readathon, not hashtag just readathon. But yeah, it's amazing, and because it's such a short duration, there's always somebody to chat with or to update your progress with because everyone's doing it together because it's the exact same timeline. And I don't go hardcore. I'm not up from 7 a.m. on Saturday to 7 a.m. on Sunday. Like, that just doesn't happen. I kind of read when I can throughout the 24 hours, and I let that be that. Um, in terms of what I'm planning on reading, so I just got an e-copy back from the library, a power of Dawn, because I had to turn back the actual library copy because I didn't get to finish it all. So that's an option. Um, I have a um, essay compilation, which is a superhero saved my life last night, and that's a nonfiction essay compilation about different superheroes. And um, I have a couple books out from the library I can really choose from. Oh, I do have a collection of ghost stories that I got out from the library. Um, it's an anthology, and it's called Ghostly. So there's a lot of options I have, and I kind of just will go with whatever I'm feeling like at the time. Um, but I know, like, there are people who like get way into it, and make a full blown TBR, but because it's just one day and there's not any reading challenges, like I kind of just like going with my mood at the moment. And oh, I'm about to go under and under pass here in a second, so it might get a little um, dark. Just put this way home for me. So, anyways. I just, I mean, I love this readathon so much. I think they're in their, like, 11th or 12th year of doing it. It's, in my opinion, it's the original 24-hour readathon. Now you see 24-hour readathons, like, posted, like, almost every weekend. But this is, like, from where I'm, this is the first one I've ever seen. It's been around forever. And there's just so many people do it. It's a ton of fun and I recommend um, joining in if you're interested. Because like I said, it is so low-key. There's no pressure. There's like, it's nothing. It's just nothing but fun. Um, so yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, I have a, like, I have a full 24 hours worth of uh, instrumental music on Spotify. It's a playlist I made last year for the 24 hour readathon when I did one of the warm up posts. Um, I'll link it down below. You don't have to have Spotify Premium, you can have Spotify free. It's just the playlist is on Shuffle, which is how I listen to it anyway, so it's no big deal. And it's got music on there from different movie soundtracks, contemporary composers. I don't think I have any true classical music on there. I'm 
I might have, but I don't think so. Oh, there's like a lot of um, popular music is on there, like, um, for example, I'm trying to think of exactly what's on there, but for example, let's say um, you like the song one of like the top 40 radio songs is going to be an instrumental um, version of that um, possibly so it's all instrumental but it's a variety of like moods and genres really um, there's a lot of Harry Potter soundtracks on there because I thought that the composer who does that has also done I think he's the same one who's done Pirates of the Caribbean and I love that soundtrack and um, he might have been part of the Imitation Game soundtrack which is fantastic too so um, if you're needing something to listen to I'll, uh, while you read, I'll link that down below. Along with, there's a YouTube channel called ASMR Room, and it's all ambient, like, noise, and she has, like, graphic scenes, so you could be reading in the Ravenclaw Common Room, um, she has some Game of Thrones stuff. There is a Halloween spooky outdoor setting, too. I'll link that exact one along with the YouTube channel, which I know down below, if you're just kind of wanting to get some, like, background noise. I know it's hard for me to read in complete silence, but I also don't like words that I can sing along to because it distracts me. And yeah, so that's my plans for Saturday. Um, I do have a small plan. I'm going to a meeting in the morning. Um, so I don't have any major plans other than laundry for that day. So it actually, this year it fell on like a really good Saturday for it to fall on. There's a lot of years where like I've had a tough Monday morning. So, you know, I haven't been able to, you know, fully enjoy the read like I normally would. Um, so yeah, this year it's, just, it's working out. And it, the weather is um, where I'm not going to be great for a weekend end too because it's, it's going to be a little on the chilly side. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know about the Dewey's 24 Hour Marathon and you know, kind of share with you why I love it. And hopefully some of you join, but if you don't, there are tons of readathons going on this weekend. And so pick one that interests you. And you know, I really encourage you to get in on the community aspect of it because I really feel like that's the best part of readathons in general and the most enjoyable ones are the ones that have an active community presence. So I hope you guys have a good day and I will see y'all tomorrow with a fall tag or a guilty reader tag. I haven't decided which one I'm going to film when I get home, but it's going to be one of those two. And yeah, so thank y'all.